Greetings, it's Eric Becker from New Zealand, the naturopath from New Zealand. Thanks for coming back and looking at the video. We're going to talk about constipation today. It's a very, very common topic, something that you know I deal with a lot in my practice um, every day with patients. You'd be surprised how many people I've seen that are constipated. Thousands of people over the years that can't really pass bowel motions properly. So, what do we do for people that are constipated? Um, what kind of advice can we offer them? And how do we know they're constipated? What are some of the uh, signs and symptoms of constipation? Well, let's have a look. I've got a list here. I made a few notes here before I started this video. Um, probably the key thing that we look for is how many stools the person's passing. So healthy people like me will pass one, but generally two bowel motions a day. If you're eating a lot of good food, which I like you to eat out there, you know, foods like broccoli and cauliflower and spinach and leeks, lots of leafy green foods, blueberries, uh, you know, good quality fruits, nice fish, white fillets, organic free range chicken, good quality eggs, almonds, you know, nuts and seeds, things like this. If you're eating all those kind of foods and you're drinking, you know, several glasses of water a day and you're chewing food properly, you should be having two bowel motions a day. I believe two bowel motions is very healthy and very normal for most people. So you should be passing out at least 12 or 18 inches of stool every day. Large bowel motions and plenty of them regularly. That means you've got enough fiber in your diet. Lots and lots of fiber. If you look at people in Africa, they can consume up to 100 grams of fiber a day. I talked to a doctor who practiced in South Africa and in various African nations and said that many people there don't even need to wipe, wipe themselves after a bowel motion because... They pass lots of motion out, and because the fiber content is so high, the stools aren't that messy. But he said when he started to practice in England, he said he noticed that people's bowel motions totally changed because they were eating more processed food. You know, humans are the only creatures that need toilet paper. Animals don't need toilet paper. Think about it. You don't see animals with a can of Coke in their hand or with a burger or fries or cigarettes or mobile phones or things like that. I'm getting a bit crazy now. So less than three to four motions per day is considered uh, per week. Sorry, is considered constipation. So you ideally want to be passing motion every day. When you're skipping days, you're constipated. Hard lumpy stools is number two. So passing out, you know, small nuggets like little pieces of bowel motion, or pieces of motion that are compacted, small pieces put together. Motion should be long cigar-shaped pieces that easily slide out and you feel like you've really had a good evacuation. That's a healthy bowel. Most healthy people pass good bowel motion in the morning, not one after they get up. And I believe also healthy people should pass out a motion sometime in the afternoon, usually after lunch. The third one is straining to have movements. <clears throat> so sitting there and pushing and forcing a movement out. Leaning forward or leaning back or trying to force a motion. You should not have to force a motion. Motion should come out very naturally and very easily with minimal effort. Forcing motion is going to put a lot of pressure on the colon. Let's see if I can find my picture here for you guys. Here it is, my crappy old picture. So when you start forcing a stool out of the bowel, you're going to get a lot of problems in this region here. Okay, You're going to get diverticuli, a little bowel pockets that poke out here. You could even get pain in this quadrant here. So people who regularly force motions out may start getting sensations around here. They could feel stuff here. Right? So forcing bowel motions is a bad idea. You don't want to do that. You're putting pressure on the body. The fourth one, feeling as if you've incompletely evacuated. So when you've you know gone off the out of the bathroom, you've you've cleaned yourself, you wash your hands, and you think. I'm quite not quite there yet. I still feel I've got some stool in the rectum. It's not quite all evacuated out. That's also constipation. Many people have that where they'll sit down, have a bowel motion, they'll finish their business, they'll wash their hands, and they'll think, something not quite right. I'm not really there yet. And they may go back later and have another small evacuation. Or, you know, or, or a, a piece of stool might pop out with a second evacuation. That's constipation. And the fourth, uh, the fifth one is abdominal pain. Now, many people I've seen who've got a history of constipation will complain about abdo pain. And why? Well, when you think about it, it's logic. They've got stool that's starting to build up now, you know, uh, maybe in a transverse colon here. They could have some plugs of stool here. They could have a little bit down here. 
This is the key area where bowel, where bowel cancer happens, folks, is around here, this area here and up around here. So having good evacuations, um, chewing food properly, selecting the right food and having good levels of beneficial bacteria in the colon where most of the bacteria in the body reside is crucial for um, avoiding constipation. All right, so think about those things that we spoke about. So those are the five cardinal signs of constipation. And you can certainly avoid constipation by watching more videos on this channel. So I hope that encourages you towards better bowel health. Better bowel health will mean better overall health. Thanks for checking out the video. Please don't forget to click on the link below if you want to pick up my Candida report. Thanks for checking me out.